We might think the reason why Mr Snacks has come here is to sample some of the wild salmon from the River Tweed. But no, in these very fields are bred cattle that finish up on our plates with the accolade well hung and tender. Donald McPherson is one of the few farmers who has benefited from the food and mouth crisis. Donald, you started off in the beef cattle industry almost the same year as food and mouth, but had BSE. How did you manage, in actual fact, to carry on after that disastrous year? We were within two miles of food and mouth. Uh, we didn't lose any cattle, luckily, but it had a really big impression on us and it actually pushed us towards retailing the fresh beef. Now at that time you weren't farming Aberdeen Angus, you were doing Chalet Cross and Limousine. Why, why change to Aberdeen Angus? Well it was a direct result of um, doing the farmers markets. Well, the farmers markets came about because of the supermarkets where had control during foot and mouth. So we knew we had to do something. Um, the, the Aberdeen Angus came about because of the customers at the farmer's market. They wanted to know if it was Aberdeen Angus. It was a name that they trusted. So I then spent two years doing a Nuffield scholarship to try and understand the finer aspects of eating quality. And one of the things that came out of it was that Aberdeen Angus beef is the best. Um, is That's acknowledged worldwide. And if you go to America, uh, virtually all the breeds over there are based on Aberdeen Angus. 